Come on, Grandma. Kick it up a notch. If we push the boat too much harder than this, we may all end up on the bottom of the ocean. Haha, <laughs> you're probably just worried about your silly hat flying off. I wonder what kind of island Akala is, huh? Seeing all of Alola for myself is half the fun of doing the island challenge. Isn't this just the best, James? Land ahoy! Alright, Akala Island, here I come. Isn't it a bit late to declare Land Ahoy after you've already arrived on shore? What a stick in the sand! Help me out here, James. It was funny, right? It was supposed to be funny? What about you, Professor? The land is certainly ahoy, oh boy! Still haven't managed to find a shirt that goes with your lab coat, hmm, Kukui? I've told you you're gonna scare off strangers looking like that. Nebby, back in the bag. Don't sweat it, Lily. Why, hello there. Nice to meet you all. I'm Olivia. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I'm Mallow, one of the captains here. I was on my way to see who was pulling into the port when I ran into Mallow here while she was all on a delivery. Yup, my trial will be a chance for all the fine ingredients that make your team, uh, make up your team to shine. Especially you two. Your Pokemon look ready to cook with gas. And Mallow isn't the only captain here on Akala Island, of course. So, what's the plan, kids? Yeah. That's up to these kids. It's their island challenge, after all. Yes, I suppose so. Okay, then. Enjoy your time on the island challenge, kids, along with your Pokemon. I'll be waiting for my chance to face you in battle when the time comes. I'm looking forward to seeing what you've got. Let's go, Mallow. I'm sure she wanted to come see that you made it here all right. But she'll never admit to it. Huh. <laughs> That's Olivia for you. She's a kind kahuna deep down. Yeah, there are three trials here on Akala Island. If you decide you want to take the trial straight away, head up Route 4 there and keep going till you get to Paniola Town. Shoots, I know where I'm going first. And that is straight to the Pokemon Center. I wonder what kind of Malasada they make on Akala, eh? Maybe I'll see about some shopping of my own. And I should find out about the ruins for Nebby's sake, too. You've made it to Akala Island, big boy. This means a whole new island Pokedex. Zzz. I'll try to keep you up to date on all the new Pokemon you uncover. Zzzzt. Welcome to Hia Hia City. 
So here and here here, there is already the port building. And basically if we wanted to, we could just immediately head back to Mele Mele Island and Hawaii City, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't think there's anything of importance here with the people at the ferry that are waiting to move to a different island. Ooh, oh, never mind. I thought you were gonna give me a fresh water. Guess not. My name's Elect Turwin. I like I'm having link battles against trainers far away from here right now. That's what communications features are for. Ah, uh, so you're one of those nerds, aren't you? Uh, ooh, look, there's a Poliwhirl. Hi, Poliwhirl. They're playing Pokemon by the sea. Yes, I know about all kinds of Pokemon that live along the sea. Because uh, the majority of Pokemon in all Pokemon games across every generation are water types, I believe. So, interesting factoid. Uh, so yeah, I'm not really sure what else to do except for to talk to people for now. Alola. Isn't it funny how Alola is both the name of the region and how they say hello? Eh, kind of. I mean, it's not too... It's not too weird, but... I mean, it's better than Hawaii, which the region is based off of saying Hawaii for hello instead of Aloha. You know what kind of Pokemon item you should get? You know what kind of item you should give your Pokemon to hold? If you're not sure, a citrus berry is a safe bet. Ah, interesting. Yeah, I figured Citrus Berry heals a lot of health. Trainer tips. How many experience points you get from a battle depends on the level of the Pokemon you fight. The higher your opponent's level compared to your Pokemon's level, the more experience points your Pokemon will get for defeating it. Very, very true. And yeah, okay, lower experience points, lower level Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm... So maybe the Pokemon people brought back from Kanto have increased here in Alola? Oh, is this kind of a little backstory on Alolan forms? Or not, because you're talking about how the people of Kanto and Johto long, long ago came together uh, together to form the town known as Hiahia City, or Heiahia City, I don't really know how it's pronounced. I don't remember the dub of Sun and Moon all too well. You can't change the nickname of a Pokemon you get in a trade. My Magnemite's nickname is Chrome Dope. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Welcome to the Alola Tourist Bureau. One of Alola's most famous attractions has got to be the Pokepelago. Why not enjoy a little time there with some of your dear Pokemon? Well, I don't know about the Pokepelago yet, but thanks. Alola, I am the official name rater. I can uh, more or less tell your Pokemon's fortune by its name. Want to rate the nicknames of your Pokemon? This right here, the Name Raider, a staple in most Pokemon games, if not all, where you can change your Pokemon's nicknames. Again, only ones that you've caught, though. Oh, look at how beautiful I am. Yeah, look at my coconut bikini, look at my blossom, look at my palm tree. Looks so good. Not much makes me happier than finding one of Alola's hidden treasures. Ah, very, very true. I like how you're talking about hidden treasures when you're looking at all the touristy stuff. There's a Pukumuku like plush doll. There's, uh, it looks like a Corsola in a snow globe. Uh, spoiler for a Pokemon we haven't seen yet. Actually, a lot of spoilers for Pokemon we haven't seen yet. And there's shirts on the bottom of those racks too. Uh, that's it for the Tourist Bureau. Makes sense though that those items are there. Tourist Bureau, tourist attractions. Uh, let's see, anything over Lily? Oh, James. You're looking for the ruins or you're looking for new clothes? Probably looking for the ruins. Yes, this little fellow will hardly sit still. I think Nebby might be interested in visiting the ruins of life. Apparently they house the sacred guardian of Akala Island, a creature called Tapu Lele. I wondered if you'd like to come with us when we go visit the ruins. I mean, little Nebby here seems to like you quite a bit. I'll be at Tide Song Hotel if you decide you want to come. I'm supposed to be meeting someone there. Someone very important to me. I'll be alright. I can see the building from here after all. 
Even I shouldn't be able to lose my way. I think. And you. I'll have you stay in your bag, mister. I've heard that there is a group of terrible people around who try to steal Pokemon. A group called Team Skull. We need to be careful if we want to escape the notice of such a collection of villains. Isn't that right? So, Lily is going to be at the Tide Song Hotel, and we already saw where that is. Hey, sweetie, have a sweet for me. You can give it to your Pokemon. Ooh, a rare candy! That will increase one of our Pokemon's levels by one if we're too lazy to do it in battle. Pokemon who eat a rare candy will be so shocked by the deliciousness, they level up. Oh, so that's the official explanation. They get shocked by how delicious a candy is that they level up. A little bit weird. Hey, I like your rock rough. It's my job to take hotel guest Pokemon out for walks and exercise, sir. Oh, you're actually wearing a bellhop outfit. That's actually pretty cool. Alola is full of blue. Blue skies, blue seas, it's all over. Ah, very, very nice. Uh, I don't think I need to heal my Pokemon. Sorry, but my Stoutlin is a real thorough kind and likes to uncover every last stone. Could you take another route until we have uncovered all of the hidden items here? Oh, so Stoutlin is a ride Pokemon too, eh? Well, it looks like the only options we have are to head on to the next route, which is Route 4 to Paniola Town, or we could go to the Tide Song Hotel. I think I'm gonna go to the Tide Song Hotel and see Willy. Stop right there. Ha-ha-ha. Uh -huh. We didn't mean to surprise you. You must be doing your island challenge. I'm Dexio. My name's Cinna, a beautiful name for a beautiful lady. We're here seeing the sights in Alola. It's quite tradition of island- it's unique tradition of island challenge. It's pretty fascinating, I've got to say. Oh, I've got an idea. You and Dexio should battle. And why should we do that? Though, I might as well test my skills. Is that alright with you? Sure. Then I'll let my partners go wild. We have been challenged by Pokemon trainer, Dexio, and he's gonna start out with Slowpoke, level 15, Water Psychic type, own tempo for the ability, with the moves Confusion and Water Gun. Yep, just two moves, because that's what apparently a lot of the trainers in Alola have on their Pokemon, just two moves or three moves, because the programming is a little lazy. Anyway, Struggle Bug actually almost enough to take out Slowpoke with just one shot, which is very, very nice. Uh, let's just use another Struggle Bug just to, you know, get it out of the way. So Dexio here, you might be familiar with him if you've played X and Y, same with Cinna, or Cena, or however it's pronounced. I think it's just Cinna. It's an I, not an E. Uh, anyway, next up is going to be Espeon, level 16, Psychic type, Synchronize for the ability, with the moves Confusion and Quick Attack. Once again, only two moves, which is stupid. Anyway, you might notice that uh, these two characters are from Pokemon X and Y. They were assistants to Professor Sycamore. Why are they here in Alola? Well, they never made Pokemon Z, and they didn't really know what else to do with Sun and Moon outside of giving a lot of Kanto Pokemon Alolan forms, 
So instead of making a Pokemon Z, they added Dexio and Sinna and a side quest involving Zygarde to Sun and Moon, but we'll find out more about that in just one moment as we have defeated Pokemon trainer Dexio and his static shocked face pose, although I do like his shirt. I wonder where I could get one of those. That's what I would expect from a trainer, doing the island challenge. I felt the bond between you and your Pokemon. I feel like I've been able to have a glimpse of the island challenge. Oh, that was Senna talking. Let me heal your Pokemon as thanks. I like the switch from British to, or an, an attempt at a British accent, I shouldn't say that. You and your Pokemon are the ultimate team, no doubt about it. This battle reminded me of us in the past, and that group of five young trainers. I've made up my mind. I'll entrust this important item to you. We've obtained the Zygarde Cube. This item I... Uh, wait, Dexio gave me the item, Sinna. What are you talking about? The item that I just gave you is for collecting the cores and cells of a Pokemon. Zygarde. I'll tell you the details another time, so please, keep it safe for now. For your island challenge, it might not be a bad idea to go to Route 4 to train your Pokemon. We'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage! So yes, Zygarde and Zygarde has a bit of a story in Alola, which is so stupid. They should have just made Pokemon Z. I don't know why they forced Zygarde to be in this game. Anyway, the Tide Song Hotel. If it, this looks familiar to you, if you were paying attention to, uh, I guess, the trailer when Sun and Moon were first revealed, there was concept art of this exact hotel that people thought was going to be a water-type gym, because back then, nobody knew there were going to be no gyms in Alola of the horsey statue with water and I mean come on look at it it has water Pokemon on the front of it as well including some water Pokemon we have yet to see that are native to Alola anyway enough of that let's head inside the hotel um uh, hey Corsola I'm familiar with that water Pokemon hey what did I just spot up here that's a glimmering green sparkle a strange creature was sucked into the Zygarde cube Sinner wants to talk to you. Zzzz. I just received a signal from your Zygarde cube. The creature that just got sucked into the cube is what we call a Zygarde cell. That Zygarde cube I gave you is like a nest for cells and cores. Your mission is to collect all the cells and cores. We'll get in touch. Bonne chance! Or Bon Chance? Bon? Is it Bon Chance? I don't know. I don't speak French. Anyway, uh, Lily is somewhere in here, I think. Oh, yeah, there she is. Hi, Lily. Oh, James. I'm sorry. I saw some people who look like those Team Skullfugs, and I got scared. I was trying to avoid them. Then I think I ended up missing my meeting. Oh, but, but don't worry. It's fine. This is actually where I wanted to be. Will you go for another one of your trials, James? From what I've read, I think the nearest trial site might be the one up Route 4. Thank you for the advice. That's actually where I'm going now, because other than getting that Zygarde cell and speaking to you, there's nothing really else for us at the Tainsong Hotel for now. So I think really quickly, I'm going to head back to the Pokemon Center before I head on to Route 4, and I'm going to stock up on some items, so I will be seeing you in just a moment. Alright, I'm stocked up on items, and uh, in case it wasn't obvious, in Pokemon Moon, if you're playing that instead of Pokemon Sun, you would actually battle Sinna instead of Dexio. I should have mentioned that during the battle, but kind of escaped my thought process at that time. Alright, let's move on to Route 4. I probably should have sprayed a Repel. As soon as I said it, I run into a wild Pokemon. <laughs> uh, let's see, there's obviously different Pokemon here on Route 4, including 
a lily pup. Oh, you're so adorable. I like lily pup a lot, but uh, you know, I pr would prefer not encountering you right now. So uh, let me just uh, let me let me just move past this. Let's grab this great ball. Very very nice. Uh, let me actually go spray a repel right now, just to be safe. Uh, that's my medicine. I was on the right pocket. I just had to scroll up. All right. 50 repels on my person, technically 49 now, but that's all right, let's just make our way up. Trainer tips. Even among the same species of Pokemon, individuals will have different strengths. They may not seem different at first, but as they grow, so will their differences. Aw, that's a nice little speech bubble thing. Uh, anything over here? Hidden item, a tiny mushroom. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a little pocket past a bush, and there's a rock there. Usually, there's always a hidden item there. Alright, uh, more hidden item. Actually, uh, I should say another Zygarde cell. Let me suck that up. No phone call from Cinna. I guess only when I reach a certain number. Uh, are you a trainer or not? Oh, okay, no you're not. Oh, whoa, that was weird. It, like, zoomed out for the battle, but it didn't do the battle. That was... A little weird. I'm gonna avoid that guy for now just to pick up the revive and I'm also hopefully going to use a repel. Yes, thank you. Gonna pick up another item down here. An adrenaline orb. Ooh, okay. So adrenaline orbs are a new item introduced in this generation and they're actually very useful when you are doing uh, SOS battles. They actually tri can trigger, help trigger SOS battles, I should say. Trainer tips. Wow, we've had a lot of trainer tip signs throughout this episode. While looking for your Pokemon, looking at your Pokemon summary page, you can change the arrangement, arrangement of its moves uh, by touching a move, dragging it across the lower screen, and dropping it into its new spot. I already knew that. I knew that before this game was programmed. It's kind of been like that for a long time. Nothing here, not even a Zygarde thing. Oh, you're gonna battle me, aren't you? I just I just want to sneak past you, buddy. Thank you, because I want to grab this energy root. Okay, very, very nice. Uh, ooh, there's a berry pile here, and there's a Pokemon feeding on berries that just leaped out at me. Say hello to Crab Brawler, even though we already saw one with Facing Hala, but this is how you are able to crash, uh, catch Crab Brawler. I tried saying crab and catch at the same time. So Crab Brawler hides in the berry trees, which is a little weird. I wouldn't really take it for one of those Pokemon that hides out in berry spots, but, uh, you know, just to complete my Pokedex a little bit, I might want to catch it if it'll allow me to. Crab Brawler, please. Oh, you're gonna call for help. Okay, uh, please don't. Thank you. Okay, maybe I'm just gonna take you out. Um, I'm, j I'm just gonna take you out. I've been looking for one of you to add to my team in Pokemon Moon, so, uh, maybe it would have been better if I did try to catch it and just trade it, it over to my copy of Moon, but I should be able to find one, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully soon. If not, you already know another team member on Moon. You'll see Moon version again soon, but not too soon. Uh, we found a Lumberry under there, a Figgy Berry. You can find some rarer berries also in these berry piles. This is actually a really big one in case it wasn't obvious. An Aspear Berry, I think, we just got. And a Mago Berry. Wow, a lot of pretty unique berries there. Anyway, oh god, please don't battle me. Uh, with that, I think that is going to do it for this episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Next time, I will take care of those trainers off-screen just for some extra experience, and then we will head inside of the next town, which has to be Paniola Town, because that's literally every single time we've talked about Route 4, everybody's also said, hey, Paniola Town's by Route 4, so this has to be Paniola Town. So next time, we'll head into Paniola Town, and we'll uh, go maybe find our next trial site, you know? Maybe that'd be cool? Anyway, until then, thank you for watching, and I will catch you later.